Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be continuing my talk on uh, decision trees. So in my previous video, I showed how to create a classification tree. In this video, I'll be using the same data set, which is a thickness of a polymer, which is dependent on different factors. Uh, but this time, uh, we'll be uh, creating a regression tree uh, in order to estimate the thickness. So basically, we are doing predictive modeling here. So to do that, uh, you go to analyze and then go to predictive modeling and then say partition and in partition you choose thickness as your y response and uh, react through humidity as your uh, uh, x factor remember in for a classification tree i had a categorical uh, variable outcome as my y response but here uh, for a regression tree your output should be a continuous variable so in this case i'm using thickness and i say okay uh, and now you can see that uh, the regression tree uh, uh, with just one branch has been created. So here, you, the the in the partition for thickness, the black line that you're seeing is the mean of the split. Uh, and uh, you can see the red points are the ones that have been considered as fail, and uh, all the blue ones have been uh, considered as a pass. And now. The way splitting happens in this case of a regression tree is uh, based on this. Uh, if you uh, expand this candidates box, you can see that uh, the, for the different uh, variables, you have this thing called log worth. So when you click split, uh, the split happens uh, at the variable that has the highest log worth, and the value at which this split occurs is uh, is the is uh, shown under the cut point. So now if I click split, you can see that. Uh, uh, let me prune and uh, then so if now if I click split what happens is react to uh, will be the next variable at which split occurs and this will happen at the cut point of 5.17157 so let me click split and show that so now you can see that uh, react to for less than 5.157 and greater than this point has been done so now if you further expand candidates for uh, these two uh, you can see that uh, when you click split again uh, in each of these uh, branches, uh, the splitting will occur at the variable that has the highest uh, log worth. So now among these two, uh, you can see that react to greater than 5.157 has the highest log worth. Humidity is the next variable because it has a log worth of 11.4. So now if I click split, you can see that it, the, it is split uh, for humidity. And now the next split will occur at uh, the react to. So now if I click split, uh, it will occur at uh, humidity again. So this uh, this way uh, you can keep splitting how, how many other times you want. But as I mentioned before, uh, you may want to set a uh, split size. Let me prune and go back to one and show that. So uh, let's set a split size of 10. Uh, by default, it's five. And uh, then let me click uh, uh, keep uh, clicking split until uh, a split is no longer possible so here uh, you remember that uh, this is slightly different from uh, the classification tree so here uh, we are doing predictive modeling uh, so uh, ideally it will always be a good idea to uh, uh, open this leaf report and uh, see uh, which are all the prediction uh, uh, formulas here. So now you can see that in the first one when react to is uh, less than 5.157 and when humidity is less than uh, uh, 56.925 and when react is react to is less than 4.265 uh, or when react to is between 4.657 and 5.157 you can see that this is the mean. Uh, so maybe uh, this is uh, too much splitting so let's prune some and uh, leave it at this. Uh, so now you can see that um, uh, as I mentioned before in, during my classification tree the cutoff is 9.5 so now you can see that uh, the first four are the formulas for which uh, the samples will pass but anything beyond that it's a fail. So uh, so this is how a classification, uh, sorry, a regression tree works. But another thing that you can do is you can go to the rectangle option and then say save column. Uh, and then uh, you can say uh, save predicted formula. 
So when you do that, another column is created uh, as the product thickness. And uh, so now uh, you can see that uh, if you click uh, and right click and choose the formula, you can see that uh, the uh, formula for this particular column has been created. And basically you can see that here, this is a uh, if else statement. Uh, and also now uh, if you can uh, you know input new set of values for react through uh, through humidity a uh, new uh, uh, thickness uh, value will be predicted based on this formula so uh, this is how uh, you can use a regression tree uh, once it has been created uh, but yeah keep in mind that uh, there is uh, overfitting always uh, is a possibility here so uh, classification must be done uh, carefully uh, when doing so.